signs. Good morning, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Good morning. This is going to be your week ahead reading. Let's see what could be showing up for you in this week. Um, as I was tuning into your energy, I was being shown magnets. Very magnetic energy. My beautiful Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Magnetic energy. So let's see what's going on. Okay. It's coming in for my beautiful air signs. It's coming in for my beautiful air signs. Oh. Wow, I just did a fire signs reading and it was talking about a new journey. You've got the train. So you have a new journey that is opening up for you, but it requires you to move on from where you have been. Okay, you've got Anamkara, which is talking about unconditional love. This is soulmates. This is infinite love, romance, and uncommon bond. So maybe there is something here that you're moving on from and this is where you're going towards. Okay. All right. Just going to get one more. We've got an empty nest. Where you have been no longer serves you. And I feel like you're going to see that. Yeah, moving on. That's two cards that are saying about moving on. This is talking about a cycle coming to completion. This is an ending, bringing in a new beginning. I did a channeling yesterday and that was the same thing. Um, you're stepping into a new life, air signs. And then we've got the roundabout. This is talking about choosing a new direction, right? Going with the flow. Everything here is working out for you perfectly. Even when we sometimes feel like it's not and we feel like we're hitting a roadblock, we're meant to be at that stop sign just for that moment, okay? So if you feel like you've been on a bit of a pause, if you feel like you've been going through a lot of these changes and it's been, you know, very confronting, whatever it may be the case, it's happening for a reason, okay? And you've come out on top and now the universe is like, great, now we can keep moving, all right? Now we can bring in this beautiful energy. Oh, I'm so excited. Ugh. Okay. Empress energy ending, right? In order for you to embody and step into your full Empress energy, whether you are male or female, it is just energy. In order for you to step into this, there needs to be an ending. It may feel uncomfortable. It's not always pleasant. However, it is going to elevate you. Sometimes an ending doesn't feel always lovely, but it's elevating you. Find the silver lining. Be grateful for this experience that is now coming to an end and be open to this beautiful new beginning that is flowing into you. You're stepping into your abundant era. Mm. All right. Wow. We've just got two cards that have come out. Moving on. Okay. I almost want to say, Air Signs, you've been resisting this for a little while. You've been resisting this. You've been seeing the signs, the synchronicities, they've been showing up and you've just kind of been turning a bit of a blind eye, burying your head in the sand. It's time now, it's time now to look at this new path. Okay, no more resisting. Okay, let's see. Let's not worry about where we're moving away from, okay, because that's done. That's done. Okay, let's see what's what's coming in. The, oh my God, this is, so, you could be connected to a fire sign. I'm just going to say that because fire energy just got very similar energy that's coming out. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Cups that's showing up. This has taken its time. This has taken its time because there has been some resistance for you and there hasn't been enough space for this to come in because you've, been holding on to other bits and bobs that have been ready to leave okay we have a king of cups could be a water sign um pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be but i feel like this energy this is like look at the, all this emotion look at this emotion maybe this is something that you have been desi desiring something with has more emotional charge something where you can you can really feel into this connection yeah 
my sun card. Okay, tell me what else is coming through for air signs this week. There is a love four of wands. For some of you, there could be a move change that you're considering as well, or this 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 connection could open up a move change. I'm also getting as well when it comes to your career as well. I feel like everything is starting to align and everything is opening up for you. Okay. This is like, this is, this is a beautiful match for you. I would love if we got the Queen of Cups that came out because that would just be a divine match, right? Okay. You're no longer feeling stuck where you are. You're realizing that the energy exchange from where you were was something that was very emotionally unfulfilling. You're looking for reciprocity. You're looking for reciprocity where it comes to emotional, physical, intimacy, all of that. You're, you're looking for that beautiful exchange with your partner. Okay. All right. How is this going to show up this week? How is this going to show up this week? How is this going to show up this week? Wow. Okay. We've got the Magician card that's come out. I feel like you're going to be in your element. I don't know what that means, but that's what I just got. You're going to be in your element. We've got the King and the Queen of Swords that has come out. So this is a divine match that is coming out, you're going to meet your match. You're going to be in your element. I don't understand that. What does that mean? What does that mean? You're going to be in your element. Some connection to water or the beach or an element, like an element grounding, like earth, air, fire, water. In your element. I'm really intrigued by that. Okay, maybe I'm not meant to know that. It's where you're going to feel at your most centered is what I'm getting. You're going to be in your element. I don't really know what that is. That's very exciting though. Okay, let me know. <laughs> 